What's up, guys? I'm Damon Zell, and we just got the rollout for the new December update. That's right, we got characters coming in, characters going out, and some new things coming to the game. Uh, hopefully, uh, Glitz, but we're going to react to this as we read it. Uh, so, let's talk about it. Alright, so the new update is rolling out. You're going to have to restart your apps for them to kick in to get to the latest data. And the first thing that's going to change is the weekly supply store. Uh, if you know which one I'm talking about, it's the one that changes from month to month and it only refreshes every seven days. Well, the characters coming out are going to be Elro here, Leiliel, Arwen, Shagrat, Grimlers, and Urzhan. The new characters coming in are going to be Bulg, Gruhar the Brute, and Beffer. Now, with those changes, we have now, of course, changes to the premium supply store. That's right, characters that were in the premium supply store coming out, new ones coming in. So we have Rumio and Orphan of the Balance Expedition now going into the premium supply store. They're going to be purchasable in quantities of 5 and 10 shards each. And yes, they will require gems to purchase. That means Boromir is coming out of the premium supply store. Uh, that's for your Gondor team. He is now going into the guild supply store in quantities of 5 and 10. And if you're wondering what that currency or how much that's going to round out to, it's going to be basically the same as Biffer, I believe. So you're looking at about 600 probably for the 5 shards, where Biffer is, is 600. He could be the old, he could be their old price. He could be 500, but I'm, I'm thinking they're moving more towards the elevated cost. So I'm thinking it's going to be 600 for 5 and probably this 1100 for the 10 shards. So that's going to be Boromir in there. Oh. Faramir, he is going uh, from the premium supply store, and he's now going to be a guild campaign farmable character. So, especially if you have not gotten your Eldin, sorry, not your Eldin, your um, uh, your Elrond for when he comes around next time, and if you need another elf, well, he's going to be a great elf to farm. He's going to be in the guild campaign at three seven. Okay, so the monthly calendar is also changing. It's going to be goblins, of course, because we have the new legendary Thorin coming out for Thorin's company. He's coming out in two weeks. And, of course, you're going to need goblins to unlock him. There's, Trust me, I'm putting out another video about FOMO and the community talking about this and other content creators, their takes on this. So I may as well give my take on this as well. But let's continue with the news, with the update. So... On the calendar, we're going to get uh, Great Goblin Shards. We're going to get Shadow Crystal 2s, Gems, Gold, Character XP, Campaign Energy, and, of course, various ability and materials like your everyday ones. Um, let's see here. So, that's pretty much it. There's not a lot of other information here. Well, I mean, we've got some fixes. We have uh, the Balrog's ability descriptions have been, uh, let's see, to make it clear that stacks of Flame or Shadow can be removed. Um, yeah, so if you guys didn't know this, right, just like with the momentum on the cave troll, if you crit on the Balrog, you can remove stacks of flame and shadow. I've seen it done. I've done it myself. Um, I don't believe it is a bug. So it should say there now in the additional details on those abilities. They also fixed an, an issue where the duration of Chapter 3, the Mines of Moria Raid, was lasting 24 hours instead of 23 hours. This is now in alignment with the other chapter's reward timing. Uh, they also resolved an issue where the Balrog's Shadow Form ability, Embrace Darkness, could deal enormous damage to players' squad in certain situations when Naramiri's Special 1, Shadow Beckons, was applied with both Taunt and Provoke. I have not personally uh, come across that. They addressed an issue where some of the characters' passives weren't working correctly while they were stunned. Yeah, I think that's a big issue. And, of course, uh, various translations and localization improvements. However, there was something I did see in-game. Let me see if I can bring this up here. That's right. It doesn't say it in the update, but here you go. Let me just flip over to the other side so you guys can read along with me here. Let me just... Uh, there we go. That's a little bit better. So, they talked about the warg coming to the Goblin team in the near future, and we got an announcement in-game. It says, Soon a beast will come to your roster, the Warg Erdurs, also known as the Wild Wolves. Wargs are a race of wolves that inhabited sections of the Misty Mountains and nearby forests. 
Despite their animalistic savagery, they were intelligent creatures that had their own language and could also converse with other races, such as teaming up with goblins to conduct raids. So he's going to be, I believe, a new Shadow Large character. That's my theory. It doesn't state what that's going to be, if he is going to be that or not, but I'm banking that's going to be a large character because they were basically a mount for the goblins in the books, in the movies. And uh, yeah, I think unlike... The Brew, and unlike Ironhide, though, I think this one's going to have a higher attack speed than both of those characters. So I'm excited to see exactly what this is going to partake. Obviously, you're probably going to get them in a marquee event where you have to purchase it and such like that. We'll have to wait and see when that is announced. But there is the war that they talked about yesterday during that legendary uh, announcement. Also, you guys may have seen this pop up in your game. It's a new exquisite gear bundle. And if you open it up, we're going to see character gear. We're going to have Shadow Crystal 3s. And we're going to have just unique stuff. Now, a lot of this stuff here, right? Eagle Feather 3, uh, Eagle Feather 3, a lot of this stuff is for bringing up the gear tier uh, 9 and 10. But there is a thing on LOTR.gg where some of this gear could be possibly used for gear tier 11. Do we think that they're going to be rolling out gear tier 11? I really hope not. I hope they wait till the next, you know, the new year because we already have glyphs coming out and to throw a new gear tier into the entire mix of this, I think would just create havoc and chaos in the game. But yeah. So there's that offer as well uh, that you guys may have seen in the game. And that's that's going to do it for uh, today's update as well as your, um, your home news. So until I talk to you guys again, have a great week. Have a great weekend. Adventure safe and good luck to you and your fellowship.